Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. I'm here today with Stacy Durang Peeler, who is the MBA Admissions Director of Penn State's Smeal College of Business. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you for having me, John. So, what happens when a student accepts and decides to enroll uh, and shows up on campus? When do they show up, and what happens to them at that point? So, I want to I want to back up a little bit. Sure. To what happens to them after they accept? Okay. Well, they are immediately welcomed into the Penn State fold. And from the day they accept, they have access, if they would like it, to our career services team. We really want to get wow. them on the right track early. And uh, we do have a lot of people that take our team up on that offer, which is fantastic because they just come in uh, ahead of the game and ready to compete. So over the summer, they are working on their personal career strategy, which is something that's a little unique to Penn State. And it's, a, it's about a 40-page plan that they work with their personal career counselor to develop their goals, talk about what they want to do, get their resume uh, market ready before they even will walk in the door. Wow. When they arrive on campus, it's typically the second week of August. Uh -huh. They have a full two-week orientation, which helps them get to know their team members. They do uh, career building type things. They do alumni network working workshops, simulated interview prep, uh, and they do some fun things, team building, leadership exercises. We take them out to Tussie Mountain, which is a, a local recreation center, and they do you know the trust falls and those type of things, get to know their teams, and then they kind of jump into that right away. Uh, and that way, once classes start after that initial two weeks, they're ready to go and they have a little familiarity with their team before things start counting in the classroom. Terrific. And so when the actual semester starts, I know you have an unusual structure to it, and you call it 717. That's correct. Explain 717 to us. So 717 is, is our structure. It is within the Penn State semester, but rather than 15 weeks of a straight semester, we have what we call modules. So the semester starts off with a set of seven week classes. They're typically two credit classes, and you go through the whole class in seven weeks. So you are taking a midterm, at three and a half weeks and a final at seven weeks. Mm. We know the MBA uh, program is, is a whirlwind. We really want to give you the value and the content you need while you're there. So it is very fast paced. Then at the end of the seven weeks, we go into an immersion week and I'll give mm. you a little more detail on that in a moment. Great. And then we finish the semester with a second set of seven week classes. So that's where the oh. 717 fits in. So the one week immersions, we have one every semester, and they're different themes, and they're all going to be related to your MBA experience. Uh, the first one, for example, is career immersion. So again, knowing that recruiters are coming early and coming out with a job you want right. is a huge reason you're in an MBA program. We want to really focus uh, and give you career-related material. So you, you come to campus. Uh, there are some trips off-site to go to different employers. Sometimes um, mm. we do things like warehouse tours for those interested in logistics, mm -hmm. uh, all around career. The really big immersion that really is a differentiator is our global immersion and that is in the week between the two modules in spring of the first year, global immersion, and we send students somewhere else in the world. Everybody is required to go. It is for credit. If you are an international student, you cannot go back to your home country. We really want you to have a different experience. The trips last year were Lima, Peru, Shanghai, China, and Johannesburg, South Africa. Wow. And while we do work in some fun and some cultural things, the main purpose is to get our students in usually an emerging economy situation, something they have not been previously exposed to and get in the boardroom, get in the, the manufacturing plant sometimes, um, see how people are doing business and mm. running businesses and managing people in a completely different part of the world, just seeing how business is done. Sure. Uh, if you were to give the best advice you could to an applicant who really wants to come to Happy Valley and attend uh, the Smeal College of Business, what would be your most important advice to them? I may have already given it, okay. but visit. Ah, uh, right. And if you can't visit, make in-person connections. You want to get to know us, we genuinely want to get to know you. Again, we are looking for that fit. There are a lot of fantastic programs out there that are going to have awesome faculty. They're going to have the core courses. Uh, they're going to be able to get you a job. But you want that element beyond that, that experience that is going to live on with you for the rest of your life. Uh, the MBA is a huge investment of your time, in some cases your family's time, uh, financially you're investing, so there are a lot of factors at play there. Uh, and the best advice, you know, be yourself, visit, make the personal connection, and ask the tough questions. I, I think you'll find that uh, 
we want to be very open and answer the questions you have so nothing is off the table. I like that. Well, Stacy, thank you so much. All right, thank you, this, John. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants with Stacy Durang-Peeler, the MBA Admissions Director at Penn State Smeal College of Business.